now that I have confessed to banditry, I'm sure he'll ask why I did it. I will answer by re retelling the story of how I met this beautiful prostitute at, in St. Pauli in Hamburg. Now, I have told my friends this story several times now. I, I did ask her why she was in that place. She told me that while other girls chose to be secretaries in offices, she chose to be prostitution as a career. Now, I was struck by her candor. I mean, she got me thinking, was I in the merchant navy by choice or was it because it was the first job opportunity that presented itself when I left school? So when I went back home, I skipped ship and took situation as a clerk in the Ministry of Defense. And then, <laughs> this is when I came face to face with the open looting of the National Treasury. The manner in which I cannot describe without arousing in myself the deepest, basest emotions. I mean, everyone was in it. And there was no one to complain to. Everyone to whom I complained told me, if you can't beat them, join them. I was not about to join anyone. I wanted to beat them. So I took it upon myself to wage a war against them. And then they dis dismissed me. They got rid of me. So I had no option but to join them. I had to make a choice. And I became an armed robber. A bandit. That was my answer and I do not regret it. Do I think it was dangerous? I mean, some girls choose to be secretaries, others prostitutes. Some men choose to be uh, lawyers and doctors, others soldiers and policemen. I chose to be a robber. Any occupation has its hazards. A, a, a taxi driver might die in a road accident. A businessman might die in an air crash. <laughs> a robber dies before a firing squad. And if you ask me, the death I have chosen is probably more dramatic, more qualitative, more eloquent than dying in, in bed of ruptured liver over indulgence in alcohol. But I'm sure you'll say that uh, armed robbery is antisocial, right? A proven determination to break the law. Now, I don't want to provide an alibi, but do you know how many men and women are busy breaking and bending the law in all costs and climbs? I want you to find a copy of The Guardian of 19 September. That is the edition in which our plea to the judge was reported. You'll find there a story in which a government official stole over seven million naira. Seven million. He was the antisocial. How many of his types do you know? How many go undetected? Now, if my avocation was antisocial then, my friend, I'm in a better company. And this company consists of presidents of countries, public servants high and low, men and women. The only difference is that while well, I am prepared to pay the cost of it all, they are not. I am not asking for your understanding nor sympathy. I am simply saying it is at his. I am sure you will say that armed robbery should have a special preserve for the scum of society. That no man with my education should have anything or any business to do with a bandit. I'll answer by saying, time was when the running of the ruining of African countries were run at the hands of half-literate politicians. Today, well-endowed, well-trained people took the task. And my God, look at how well they are doing it. So I say to you, upon that score, my conscience sleeps easy. Understand? <laughs>